Let's talk some real politics now. Let's begin with a snapshot of the American voter. We got 193 days till election night. Latest poll numbers in here and the president up by about four points over Mitt Romney, a lead that has increased ever so slightly since we last checked on it on Wednesday, less about a half a point. But for right now, let's jump ahead. Um, will it be a landslide or a squeaker? And as always, it depends on who you ask. This, the Huffington Post current electoral map, Maybe not too shockingly for some, they've got President Obama winning. They have him sitting at 298 electoral votes, enough to guarantee re-election. Um, and that's not even counting some of the toss-up states. He could get up to 360 with their math. All right, compare that uh, to what the former, what's the former, huh, the proverbial slip, <laughs> to what the First Lady Michelle Obama had to say about how close this election could be. I just want you to remember that in the end, this, this all could, could come down to those last few thousand right, people that right, we registered. Right. A few thousand votes here. Now, for a third opinion, let's go to, well, a radio personality many of you may have heard of. There's nobody that's going to run to Barack Obama who's not already there because of policy, because of track record, because of competence, because they want more of it. Not one single person wants any more of this. I think Obama's going to lose in a landslide. Okay. So HuffPost predicts Obama in a landslide. Limbaugh predicts a landslide. Michelle Obama says it'll be a nail-biter. Dom, I'll start with you here. Um, is it a, too hot, too cold, or just in the middle? What do you think? The First Lady is, is dead on accurate. This thing could very well come down to a few thousand votes in a battleground state. Anybody that thinks that President Obama is going to walk away with this is complete fool's paradise. Oh, I'm going to get hanging chads again. No, no, no <laughs> chads, no. Um, I think it's going to be close in the popular vote. I don't think they're going to be split by more than three or four points, but I think it's actually going to be more of a landslide. I, I think it's going to be Obama. I've been saying Obama about 315, 317 electoral votes. Uh, I, I, I say this is like 1980. It feels like 1980 to me. Uh, You're hoping. Oh, <laughs> Obama was elected to take care of the economy and jobs. He didn't do it. He did uh, card check, uh, cap and trade, Obamacare. His stimulus didn't yeah. stimulate anything. I think this is a landslide. Uh, he's going to go the way of oh, Jimmy well, Carter, right? Obama right. ain't Jimmy Carter. Mitt Romney right. ain't Ronald Reagan. All right. Um, now, next one here is uh, real simply, does being cool matter? Um, uh, there's this back and forth about this, and the president more personally popular than Mitt Romney. Every single poll has got that one at least by a landslide, thanks in part to TV appearances like this one. Jimmy, POTUS stands for President of the United States. He's the POTUS with the most of. All right, so he had a good uh, move on that one, and just from a personal experience, having interviewed the president, and I've met all different kinds of politicians, he even gave me a little soul shake, uh, you know, Dominic. He's got a way about him, right? Um, this being cool matter here. Youth vote anybody. You're going to call me a bump on the log right now. I think he really needs to cool it with the coolness. Come on. I, I, I really believe that. I think it plays into stereotypes, and I think that he So you should... didn't like the bit with Fallon? No. I think it's unpresidential. Yeah. I, that's what I honestly did think. Did the saxophone of Andrew really hurt uh, Mr. Clinton? Uh, I don't think it did. I mean, he won twice, so I think it worked for him just fine. I for, Forget the style. People want jobs. But do you think it, well, unpresidential, do you think it hurts him that he's got to... I, I think it's absolutely neutral. People care about their own situation. What are you going to do for me? He hasn't produced. That's why he's going to lose. A lot of people act like they would rather chew their arm off than be in a room with Mitt Romney. So it's. I think That's true, I, too. <laughs> That's very true, but too. But you don't have to be in a room with him. You want him to be but a president who's going to do something for you. Delivery.